Alright, how's it going everybody? It is Al Nino here, and today we're going to be talking about map positioning guide for Havana. If you would like to check out the previous maps that we've done, feel free to check out the playlist that I've made uh, down below in the description. Um, Never this map's been out for a few for months. Um, I don't know if, I don't know personally if anyone has uh, really mastered this map yet in terms of where to position and things like that. Um, but it's been a few months now since this map has been released, and I personally have gotten a good idea of how to position as Anna on this map. Um, so let's begin. First we'll talk about attack, and then we'll talk about defense uh, afterwards. The first thing you do when you spawn an attack, by the way, is just go up these stairs and just peek out of the corner and see what comp they have if they're positioning high ground or low ground. You can easily see if they go for a bastion setup up here, you can easily see it. And then you let your team know through voice chat that they're around here. Right? Um, as you exit, as you exit, I would recommend not exiting through the left as Anna here. I would actually recommend exiting through the far left because there are, if there's an enemy Anna, she gets a really cheeky nade here, which I will talk about later if you're Anna on defense. Um, but the best spot to really just leave as Anna is through the left here. And then you heal your team as they exit. It's literally perfect. They go forward, you heal them like this. That's it. It's a good position. You have a lot of cover. You have this entire building as cover. And you can just play from here and heal them like this. <coughs> you can actually nade through these bushes, by the way. So keep this in mind. Um, as you exit, you can just toss a nade and try to get an anti on, uh, on these people up ahead. If there's anyone holding low ground, uh, you can just toss it through. So... Um, the next good position would be once your team starts pushing payload, you can actually move towards the right a little bit here and heal them like this. You have all these pillars as cover. And it's a little bit of a, like a little room here. And there's a mini pack, mini health pack right there. Um, so if you ever really, you don't necessarily get dived here as often. I mean, it doesn't really happen, but you heal them like this. And it is a really good position, really good cover. So, this is the spot you want to be. Eventually, you're going to be holding down here and peeking out and healing like this. You're going to be healing like that. And it's a, a good little area here where if you you can't necessarily get headshot if you put your head down like this. So, if, if, if a widow was scoping right now, she won't be able to headshot me. So if they have a sniper, you can just do this and tell your team to pressure the sniper so you can peek out again. Or you can reposition a bit more backwards and heal them like this. So you can literally just do this. Peek out, heal them like that. Um, the reason I spam crouch, by the way, is just to make the movement faster because when you're crouching, it'll slower. And it's hard to get headshot anyway, so you can just do this. It's harder to headshot someone when they're spam crouching. So you're going to be healing like that and then from here obviously you'll be healing and eventually you're gonna be positioning a bit more here the only problem with this is that there's so much walls around so this is you you want to position here when they start going in this direction so you can heal very easily here and you have to be vocal here you have to tell them I can't see you pull back a bit and then you heal them like this and you heal them like that um, there is no health pack in this. Oh yeah, there is one on the left, not in this room. So if you ever do get dive, there's actually a health pack here. You can nade and pick up the health pack if you are low health. Um, but yeah, you're gonna be healing from here. Now this next area, I'm just gonna finish talking about this area first, and then I'll move on here. Um, if they're holding high ground, like a really good thing to do generally is to actually straight up push like this. I mean, it has to be as a team, and you can literally just. If they're holding high ground, you can just go here as a team, right? You can just quickly break through all this, and then just push them off high ground and force them off high ground like that. Um, but that would need coordination and team play. But just playing from right side is not so bad if they're taking high ground, because as a team, you can just play together, shield up, they shoot, they shoot, you go under, so this is good, effective against Bastion setups, and Reinhardt could just pin Bastion if he's still holding turret farm there. Really, really effective way of uh, dealing with people from high ground uh, when you're attacking. Now, this next position, this next spot, there is really no good place here. Um, from what I have seen, you can stay behind this truck, 
and heal like that, but eventually you can get headshotted by a Widowmaker here or up here. Uh, this will be your problem, really. So the best place that I've found personally is using this as cover and healing like that. This, this is generally what you want to be doing, but you can still get headshot if there's a Widow here. So it will heavily depend on what heroes they're picked and where they're positioning. It, this has to be kept in mind because you have to press tab and see what heroes they have real quick and see if they swap the Widow or something because this will absolutely destroy you right here. You'd have to play a bit more like this to stay away from that. But if there's another sniper here, you can snipe from here. So there's really no amazing place here. You just want to play behind the payload. Um, there's going to be a big fight here. Um, try to play as far back and hope to God that they ignore you. Um, you could try over here, healing from this direction, which is probably the safest place to be because if no one holds on the far right, you don't get killed. Um, sniper, if they position on the right side, then yeah, this will be a problem for you. You'd have to position somewhere else. So just play accordingly to what they they picked and where their snipers are positioned. So quick summary, okay? Let's talk about this very quickly. Behind this truck is okay. To some extent, it's not the best place, but because obviously the high ground up here can just headshot you, but you do have the cover if you're trying to be a bit concealed. Here you can use this as cover, and you can heal like this. If this thing didn't exist, the perfect healing place would be here, because you can just heal, or even back here, because you'd be healing them away from this, you have this pillar as cover, and you just heal them like that, that'd be perfect, right? But this thing exists, so you have to play around that. But yeah, eventually you'll be just be healing normally, and at this point you can just ruffle stomp and get point A. But yeah, here is a good place. Here, mediocre, because you can get wrecked up here. And here's probably a, one of the best spots, because not many people go on the right side for some reason. Um, in the games that I played anyway, I played in the Diamond SR. Not many people go here. And yeah, you can you can just heal like this. Now for the next spot for attack, we'll just head over here. In this spot, I found that the best place really is left side. Again, another heavily, heavily dependent on where the enemy is positioned. If Widow's up here, it's going to be a bit difficult for you to hold somewhere else. Whereas here, you'd be very safe and you can heal people like this. If they move a bit more to the right, there's a lot of cover here, which is bad for you because you'd want to heal your team like this. But generally, this is good. Watch out for snipers up here. If they don't have snipers, you can play a bit more up front and heal like this. But always keep an eye of high ground. Most of the time, you want to keep, keep your eyes up here. Um, a quick little tip to get from low ground to high ground is jump up here, right? Jump up on this, and then, my bad, let's try that again. Jump up this little triangle thing over here, and then you're just gonna... Goodness, alright, let me try that again. Once you get on this corner, you're gonna jump... Okay, we missed it. Bloody hell. Why am I messing this up? There we go. So you have to press space and then forward. Because if you press forward and then space, you're actually gonna fall off. So let me try it forward and jump. Yeah, you have to press space and jump. Yeah, if you just move just a little bit, you will fall off. So you have to keep this uh, in mind when trying to get from low ground to high ground. Press them together and now you're up here. Now you have this railing here and you can actually get on, it has to be like a movement like that. There you go. Now we're up here, but it's going to be really hard to get up here. There's like a specific way to do it, um, where you have to press jump and then crouch. There, I think I did it. I did it. So you have to jump and crouch on this thing. Okay, so the idea is you go here, you jump to here, and then from here you jump to here. You have to jump crouch, and now you're up here, and then you can get up here. This is actually a very amazing place. And by the way, you can't get up here. I've tried. Um, this is a really good place because you have this pipe as cover. But the only problem is, if they're directly under this bridge, you won't be able to heal your team. 
But if they push up forward, this is a really good place. But you want to be careful from snipers here because if you just stand like this and you stand still and heal, you're going to be in trouble. But this is an excellent place for high ground for, for like a group nade or something, right? It's like if they're all holding here, like all six of them and there's no sniper, you can literally just get a boom. All anti, play aggressive, push up. You can, you're literally like Spider-Man up here. You can also jump to the left and get maybe another nade like this. But this is an excellent place if they're all holding low ground. If they have divers, you gotta get the hell out of there. So try to drop down very quickly. But this place is just a spot that you can use. So keep this in mind. You get up here using this rail. If this rail doesn't exist, you are not able to you're not able to get up there. So you do need this rail or Lucio speed boost to actually get on this platform there. I would not recommend playing up here, Azana. High ground. Very, very exposed. <laughs> Extremely exposed here here. You don't really want to play like this. You want to be Concealed if you're gonna play from high ground. I would recommend even just peeking out like this But even then your team's here and they're pushing and the angle here is very limited your view here is Very limited and it's not good as a healer to be here. So I would not recommend this spot at all at one point um, the, the standard thing to do is really to just heal them while behind the payload obviously um, but taking the high ground up here is really nice and healing them from behind this cover or behind more to the left if you're more to the left it's even better uh, so you don't get sniped because if you're on the right there's a chance you get sniped from here and here so if you play like this and peek out you might get sniped but playing more to the left it avoids that from happening or mitigating the chances of that happening completely now there's actually quite an amazing sleep you can do um, on the left flank that I want to talk about um, if you go here and you go to the left you can get a pretty sick sleep if they're holding right there and you can sleep anyone high ground very briefly um, you can also toss a nade uh, at the high ground here just like just like that or you can move up a forward a bit nade, and then pull back and grab a health pack if you, if you have to but your team will not be able to save you uh, if you're here. It's a very, it's a, a gamble if you're gonna throw an aid. So I would recommend a sleep dart max and then reposition. This is by the way, when the payload is like around here, um, like not pushed up further. Um, so it's like here, you quickly go and like everyone's resetting, resetting a six. Keep in mind that if the whole distance you're walking here, you can't heal your team. So you want to be quick about this. If there's anyone here, just go for a sleep, pull back, go back to healing your team. Now, what's the most optimal position here? Now, there's an underrated, from what I've seen, there's an underrated position that I've seen ML7 use on uh, on this map. And it's actually over here. Um, I've watched, I watch his streams a lot and I notice he tends to go in this area here and actually heal from inside. I can't go in there, by the way. Yeah. I'm on attack but when I swap the defense I'll, I'll show you but you can play from there and it's a really amazing spot to be honest because it's really well covered and if you get dived your team should help you because your team would be here or here they'd be pretty close to you so they can peel for you so keep that in mind um, but yeah generally you can play from inside there and it's a really really good good spot um, other than that you can use this box here and here like this to avoid getting headshot from up here uh, just be careful with potential divers from up here in the high ground this will be a problem for you you can also go to the left here and heal them like this when they're pushing up you have a lot of cover here and the final good spot would be behind these pillars by the way you cannot shoot through this keep this in mind you cannot sleep through it but yeah this is a good place the only problem is left flank thankfully from what i've seen not many people go here um i haven't seen many people try to kill me when i position here because they always focus on the payload and they're all fighting on the payload or they go right side left side they don't go because they're, they spawn over there and they're trying to touch the point quickly so the from right they go either up here up here or they, they just try to get up on top of the payload they don't actually go left because they spawn on the right
so they try to go for the quickest path. So this is actually one of the most optimal places to hold, and you can heal like that. You are safe from snipers like this, and you just heal like that. They go over here, you want to reposition and heal from a different angle. Or tell your team to start pushing the Widow so you are able to oh, try to go for a speed. Um, but yes, this is a very good place here behind those boxes. Uh, eventually, you're going to be pushing out. So once you start pushing out, this place is very interesting. Okay. This would heavily depend on how well you communicate with your team. Because this whole area has a lot of boxes and there's a lot of weird angles on the fence that people can take. I'll, I'll just start by explaining the good spots right now. Um, behind the boxes here is solid. Behind these barrels, solid. Maintaining a range. Distance, payloads pushing. You hold them like that, huge. You can play behind these boxes as well. All these are great spots, by the way. As long as you're not revealing yourself to the snipers that would like to position here. Because this happens. This spot over here is highly, highly contested. A lot of people love to go here. A lot of people like to fight here. Because it's a really good spot for a sniper to like quickly tap someone. Play behind these golden barrels. Just like this. Look at look how look how good this is. Sniper can't hit you here. And you're healing like this. They're all in front here on the payload. This is one of the best spots uh, to be as an 100%. I would recommend that. And by the way, there's a health pack in the tower, but it's too far to reach. And you can get sniped while trying to actually go for it. So you only go for it if you're going to quickly yoink it and then back up. But you can still get headshotted. So you need to be careful when doing this. Spam crouch or whatever if you really desperately need that health pack or you're getting dived. But generally... You'll, have, you'll be fine just playing right side in this area and just looking to heal like this. this these barrels are amazing, by the way. They're so high and it's really, really good cover. You should try to play from here as much as you can until they start pushing up further. Now, let's say the payload's over here. You're going to be starting pushing up further. Always keep your eye here and try to get into this room. This is your next step. Try to get into this room. This is the best area here for this next part which by the way here always gonna be a big fight right so to stay alive as Anna the standard Anna player the average Anna player will just try to be behind here and heal them and you know jump on the payload and stuff like that it's it's not optimal here's a really good place healing from here now I know what you're thinking what about here the sniper will kill you that's why we go behind these boxes and he like that. This way we are concealed and hidden from the sniper over there. And we're forcing him to reposition to actually kill us. He has to put extra effort to kill us. Here is literally one of the best spots. And if you want to go for nades, just go for them. Just like that. Or you can push up just a bit further and nade if the sniper is not there. But this is the best spot on this section of, of Havana. Hands down. The best position to be. And it's an amazing place because most of the fighting is going to happen here. So make sure you tell your team to peek main for heals. Because if they go to the left and they do their own thing, you won't be able to heal them. So they need to play in main if they want heals. If there is a Genji top left, your Genji asks for healing. He can peek up here and then you can drop down from these boxes and heal them that way. Right? You could do that too. And eventually you're going to win like this. So... If the payload goes a bit further, you can actually drop down because the snipers won't be positioned here anymore. They'd be exiting spawn and they'll be trying to touch the payload or trying to stop the people here. They won't be focused on you anymore. They won't try to stop you anymore. So you can push up further and heal them like this. And then eventually you can win like that. So really, best spot over there. And then eventually drop down when the payload's just about to finish off. So you're a bit closer and you can uh, heal them and stuff like that. Um, I wouldn't recommend playing here unless you want to get the health back, by the way, because the uh, the aggressors, uh, or rather the defenders, can try to kill you here very easily. But there is a health pack here, so whenever you're getting dived, if you're getting dived here, let's say you're healing here, you get dived, 
You can quickly run here, throw a nade, grab the health pack, run to your team like this, and tell them to help you. If you're getting dived and you're like getting destroyed on, in terms of your health. So, that's just something to keep in mind um, in this area when you're getting dived. Now, what else? Well, what about right side, right? Th this place over here is really is really cheeky. There's a mega help back here, by the way. But this place is if you're going for an anti-nade flank. This is extremely situational, and most of the time you're gonna die because as soon as you toss the nade. They're just going to focus you. This has to mean that your team has to be ready to aggress after you throw the nade. So when you throw the nade, let's say you anti like four people, five people. They need to go in and then you go like this and, and heal them. And then you go into this room and heal them like this. It's literally a game changer if your team's in line with what you're doing. It's risky. It's very aggressive. But it pays off, right? And if you get dived, you have a health pack. So if you're getting dived, you can... Quickly go back, get the health pack. If you're uh, 1v1 Genji, if it's a Genji, Anna's very good at 1v1 and Genji, by the way. Um, it's just a bit of mind games between the two. Um, but yeah, health pack over there. Eventually, after you throw the nade and they play aggressive, you're gonna go in this room and you're gonna heal them like this. And then you'll try to win. Playing inside here isn't really that bad, honestly, but if you get dived, there's a mega mini health pack here, so. You can also, instead of going for the mega health pack, you can actually push a bit more forward towards your team. is a is a lot better option because there you'll be alone, and it's not ideal to be alone as Anna, and you're so far from your team, and you need to you need your team to peel for you. The reason this is not optimal is because they literally spawn on the right doorway, and they can literally just see you here. Oh hi, how's it going? Boom, it's gonna suck, right? If that ever happens, you just walk here, grab this, and then quickly try to retreat back to your team. But yeah, very aggressive if you play on right side. And if you're going for a nade, your team has to push if you get a good nade. That's pretty much it about attack. Now I'm going to be talking about defense and how to play around defense. Now defense is actually quite interesting. Um, there are different areas to hold. Different areas... Um, different positions that will be good in different situations. So we'll be talking about that right now. And really for... The point A defense, a lot of the people will try to hold high ground up here. Uh, Orisa shield and Bastion, it's very common for that. So here you're going to be playing like a passive healer for this part. You're going to be healing people here. You're just going to be doing this. That's it. And you're going to just peek out and heal like that. If you're ever in trouble of a snipe, like Widow grapples up and tries to snipe, just stay in cover. If you ever get body shotted or you're damaged, take cover, heal up, and heal your team like this. Now, here's what's wrong. This is what you don't do. After the enemy pushes up payload, you don't go towards right side like this and drop down. You know, let's just actually make this like a test. Why is it wrong that we drop down from here? Why is it wrong? Because you're exposing yourself further to the enemy team and there's a chance you can actually get one tapped by a Widowmaker or you can get Roadhog pulled or Orisa balled or a eh, horrible. You never want to be in those kind of situations with Anna to begin with. That's why dropping from up here is not ideal. Instead, <gasps> what you're going to be doing if your team's holding high ground is you're going to be healing like this. They will go drop to the right side. They're tanks, right? They can soak more damage than you. You're going to be going here. Your team can actually also come with you here if they want. But you're going to be going here. And then you're going to be like him. That's the safer thing to do. That's how you don't get one tapped here. Because they need you. You're the healer. You, you can't just die. Right? So keep this in mind. You'll be healing like this. And eventually you'll be going further back where you have a health pack. A mega health pack. And you're going to be healing like this. Killing your team like this. So that's ideal, right? And if you get dived, you have a mega health pack. Next scenario, if your team is not holding high ground, let's say they hold low ground with a Reinhardt. You never want to be in this room on defense as Anna, by the way. Unless you kill like three of them and your team's playing aggressive, then you can heal them like that. Um, but the safest, best position to hold as Anna, if your team's holding low ground, 
is actually here. By the way, this spot is not good if they're holding high ground because you don't have good vision of your team. If those things didn't exist, those pillars, you, this would be a, the most ideal position to uh, heal because you won't have all these walls blocking your shots to heal. But this is when you want to hold if your team is holding a low ground, right? You have this as cover. This literally blocks your entire hitbox, by the way, your entire body uh, from all the way here to here. They cannot really kill you. Um, so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be healing like this, picking out and healing like this. Throw nades, do whatever you have to. That's the ideal thing to do. And eventually, when your team starts pulling back, you're going to pull back with them. You're going to walk here, and then you're going to be playing from here. And you're going to heal like this, for the most part. This is one of my favorite spots, actually, because I've made a lot of plays just being here in this spot. Here, it's on the left, is very safe, obviously. But on the left, the, the problem with being on the left is that your vision is heavily mitigated like compared to being on the right side. Look, look at this, you have this wall, you have this car, right? You can heal to some extent if they peek out. Anyway, you could heal them, you just have to move a bit. A bit more, you have to move. And on the right side, the problem with the right side is you're very exposed um, to snipers. But I've personally made a lot of plays being here because I play behind this. So I would play behind this and heal like that. Um, but if you play more towards here, you you can potentially get dived. But a lot of people would go here, like I said, I've had players go here like a Roadhog and he's shooting here. And I'm just holding left here and then I sleep him like this before he hooks my team. And then we all in him. So playing from here is okay because they're going to be so busy fighting here. If they have a Widow up there, you, remember guys, you have to play situationally. You have to play according to the enemy comp. You have to play according to what picks they have, right? If they have a Widow here, you never want to be here in this position. You want to be further back and do them like that. This way, you don't get sniped. You want to play according to where the enemy positions most of the time. Um, I'm just giving you guys the, the spots that were that I would pick commonly in my games, right? Playing behind here is really good. So that's what I would recommend for this section here. We pretty much highlighted everything here. In this area for defense there's a health pack here by the way so eventually if you do get dived and they captured you can actually quickly nade and grab this and heal back to full your team should help you here unless they're all dead um now on defense in this area you can't really do much staying main there is something you can do that is risky and i do want to mention the risky things that you can do but no one checks up here. Well, some people don't because they're busy pushing payload here. This is literally the easiest nade on this entire map. Four of them, five of them, six of them, boom. All anti. Just like that. They push forward, they look forward, you anti all of them. Huge. Your team pushes up because they're all anti and you absolutely destroy their entire team. This is literally the playmaker and a play, right? <laughs> playmaker and a play whatever all right this is literally the playmaker this is the play of the game right if you get dived up here you jump on these barrels and you try to get repositioned your team over here and then you have this as cover you have this as cover and you try to get back to your team that way but you want to jump on these things first you don't want to jump from here to here because then you'd be behind them and you want to you don't want to be behind them you want to be quickly moving towards your team uh, once you get that anti. So here I would recommend talking to your team in voice and telling them. There is one problem. If Widowmaker hooks up here and goes here, God, you are so dead. God, you are so dead. Hanzo, Genji, whatever. They'll go up here and you're holding here trying to get a nade and they're up here behind you. You're going to have a problem. So this is a risky place. It's a risky thing to do. But if you can do it, man, they all get antied, and your team plays aggressive, they can't be healed, it's insane. And to reposition to your team, you jump on these golden thingies, whatever, I don't know what you call them, and then you just jump up and now you're back here, back to your team. But yeah, that's the aggressive play. The safe play to do, the, the, the thing to do to avoid getting killed, right? 
is to play high ground left side once they're over here for a bit but then this slope here blocks your view here so you can't be healing like that obviously because this blocks it so eventually you will have to move down you have to move down and heal from the back behind here like that but there is an amazing place here it's right on this thing now you should be able to just stand on it yes you can stay on this thing and you can heal your team like this look at that it's literally amazing if your team's holding here heal them like that throw nades heal them like this tell them to come back a bit and you heal them why do I say this is good? Because it literally has so much cover and no one even thinks to look here. No one even thinks. I've literally had a Roadhog walk up here. And I sleep from behind and my team plays aggressive and I need them. And he's anti. No one thinks to look here. And at the same time, it provides a lot of cover. And it's a, like a hiding spot almost. You're healing your team here. And then you're sleeping like a big Roadhog here. And your team is close. They're fighting. Right? You get an anti. Boom. Just like that. Actually, a really solid place to be on this left left platform or the you know, on the right platform, whatever doesn't matter. But this is a pretty interesting place. You'd never want to be on high ground here, by the way. Now, here's here's why I, I would like to talk about. This would actually be the best place on defense if these stupid stairs aren't in the way. The thing is, it's a really strange angle to be, right? But if this stair, if these stairs did not exist, this would be the most optimal place to heal. So, this place not optimal because of these stairs here. That would have been so good. Sadly, it's sadly these this thing has to exist. Feels bad, man, right? But here's a good place, right? And I'll talk about the bad bad places too. Here's a really bad place. Worst spot. Worst spot. Never be here. You expose yourself to the entire area. You expose yourself here, 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 everywhere. And here, if there's a widow snipe, boom. Never heal from here. Never. If anything, you should be healing more towards the left because at least you have more cover here. And you can heal like this. This would be decent. This would be okay to some extent. It's a lot better than being out in the open like this. So I would recommend this area here and heal like this. And eventually you'll be pushed at this point and I would never recommend playing here necessarily because it's a while to get back to your team. Like because your team will be holding here for the most part or holding here but you can this isn't really ideal on defense to be in this position because you're very close to the enemy team and you can easily get hooked. You want to be up there, top left high ground. That's the ideal place. Now, where do you hold on defense in this area? I call let's just call this area the tower, the tower area, right? Where do you heal from here, right? So in this area, you're going to be healing your team like this. And using this as cover. For the most part. If they're positioning up like this. Just be careful you don't get sniped. In this section. Right? I wouldn't recommend going down here as Anna by the way. The, the spot isn't ideal. You don't want to be here. We do not recommend. You can play from left side. And here like this. Okay? So that would be a good place to be. Um, eventually your team will be holding bridge. And here are the good spots when your team's holding bridge right here you have this cover and you can't get sniped and you can heal like this beautiful if you have trouble just hug right hug right you don't get sniped right you're fine if you get dived your team peels for you they should peel for you right here but yeah you're gonna be healing from that area for the most part and there's a health pack here as we've said before but yeah you're gonna be healing from here and then you can get back to spawn if you get dived or something you don't walk all the way here for the health pack you can just walk back to spawn right there um but ideally i play on the right side i play here pretty much all the time i heal like this 
I made like that. This place is good, because you can use the stairs as cover, and you can heal just like that. Sleep, do whatever. Heal from this position. If people go here, try to get a sleep on them, and then play aggressive on them, or your team should try to peel for you and stop that person. That would be diving you from top right, uh, little broken area here, broken concrete. So this will be ideal right here. This position, top right, is one of the best spots, and top, top over there in that corner that we talked about. You never want to play on point. Don't play on point directly. Don't play on top of your team. That's not ideal. Never play back here. Never be here. You want to be right side or left side for the most part. Um, not ideal to be up there as Anna because that's someone could get up here and you're closer to them and they can kill you. If you're standing here, they have to work extra effort. They have to put extra effort to actually push you and stop you here. Right? The other spot would be here. Since you have cover here, but here is a common place where you can actually get dived. Uh, not ideal, but you can get an anti-nade here. And if you get dived, there's the health pack here. So if you get dived, the, the proper escape route when you get dived here is if you get dived while you're here, you'd want to quickly walk back, nade, jump down, grab health pack. Or... Your team will come eventually by the time you jump down and all that. So the health pack is in that room. And there's obviously a mega health pack here, but it's too far. I would not recommend going there. It takes too far. It, it takes too long and it's too far. Big no-no for that health pack on defense, if you're playing on defense. Um, but yes, this is how you would defend this area. And usually there's big fights, really close range fights on this area. So yeah, summary. Right side, good spot. Left side on this wall, this cover, great spot, and over here, great spot. You have this as cover, but you can get dived here, and if you do get dived, jump down, grab health pack, nade, whatever it is you have to do, and your team should try to peel for you at the time. Well, that's how you, that's your escape route if you're holding there. Your escape route on left is just go back to spawn. Your escape route on right side is literally just go back to spawn and heal up through there. Those are pretty much the best spots um, for Havana on both attack and defense. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope it helped out. And I wish you best of luck in the arena. Be sure to follow my stream on twitch.tv slash alnino9 if you would like to see me play Overwatch live. Uh, as well as check out the uh, Overwatch matchups, uh, or rather Overwatch uh, positioning uh, for all the maps that I've made. I haven't made them all, but I am planning to make positioning guide for all the maps. So that will be in the video's description. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the arena. Peace out.